Lindley, first of all, for those who don't know, and I'm sure everybody does, Hope Technology, what do you do? Um, we are a, a UK producer and manufacturer of high quality, high end bicycle components. Um, we also just recently branched into carbon fibre. We produce our own frame on site, um, carbon fibre handlebars and also seat posts. So the guys started in 1989, two engineers from Rolls Royce? They were, yeah. Um, the two founders, 1989. Well, prior to that, they were doing some touring work, uh, set up the business in 1989. I joined them in 1989 as a toolmaker um, 29 years ago. And let me get these figures right, 140 staff, 75 machines now? Uh, yeah, 140 staff plus, uh, between 70 and 75 machines. Okay, now we're looking at your Matsura machines just over our shoulders here. That's right. Now, about eight, nine machines? Uh, the the, the five-axis um, MAM 72s, we have six in this on this factory floor, and we have a further one in the R&D department. I've also got a... Um, a 15 pallet horizontal right at the bottom of the line as well. So obviously big fans, and this is sort of about automation, unmanned running. How is having these machines in the business um, sort of work for you guys? They are fantastic. The number one is the reliability and the accuracy. They're fantastic machines. Um, the other advantage is I have uh, seven machines on this row behind us, and I've only two guys monitoring and running those on a, on a, on a shift. So the actual manpower needed to keep the machines going is minimal. And that keeps your overheads down, your prices down, and everything else. With no, you know, there's no uh, restraint on the quality either. So, okay. So, um, in terms of these machines, then, how many uh, components can it actually manufacture at any one point? Well, on the MAM 72s, you've got 32 pallets to go up. We multi-part on each pallet, so you can have up to five components per pallet. Some only have one component, but the majority have between three and five components. Okay, and then so you just load them up, limb running, and you know there's going to be no issues in terms of accuracy, reliability? Accuracy, not a problem. They've all got the um, Renishaw probing system on there for tool checking. So tool breakage, alarms, um, if there's any problems. Running time, you can easily get 48 hours if need be. I just have people to come in, top them up, check the parts, and then carry on. So your weekends are now free? Um, nearly, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you mentioned accuracy, so you know that you can leave these running 48 hours essentially, not a problem. Not a problem at all. We manufacture, there's various items on there, a lot of it is aesthetics, but there's also the internals of the calipers, master cylinders, which are high accuracy. You're talking microns on the bores, um, and the piston bores, and the master cylinder bores. So what other parts, so master cylinders are for the brakes? There's the master cylinders, which is a key component of the brakes, also the caliper, um, the um, brake lever blade as well. We also do stems, which is um, part of handlebar arrangement, um, and some smaller parts, which also go on the bike. Okay, so I presume then when you're looking at investing in these machines, you work closely with Matsura to provide a solution? We do, yes, and also because we've been dealing with these machines for the past sort of 12, 15 years, we know the capabilities, and if we ever need another one, we know what they're capable of before we actually purchase. So obviously very, very happy with them. Now, if I said to you return on investment, because people look at these machines, they think, I'm not sure, they, I, I hate to use the word expensive, because, well, you're going to tell me in terms of return on investment. What is it? The return on investment is something we don't really look at too closely. It's actually long term. Our key priority is to produce a good quality part at a reasonable price. So the, the, long, the return investment on one of these could be eight, ten years. But that is to keep a competitive British component uh, available to the public. Excellent. So, next investment? Uh, another MAM 72. Finley, thank you very much. No problem.